Welcome one and all, back to the Train Simulator Races. I am your host, Sparky129, and as you remember last episode, we had the 5400 against Flying Scotsman, and Flying Scotsman won. This episode will be the 7F against the BR-52, a German steam engine. And I still have no Superclass 47 yet, so don't ask. Enjoy! Hey guys, welcome back, and today, for this race, as you know, we are going to be racing the BR-52 against British Railways 7F. These are both pretty popular, in this game at least, steam freight engines, this one being similar to a uh, slightly smaller size 9F, and well, the 7F is uh, a freight engine in its own right. I'm guessing from the LMS, I've forgotten. And today, these two are going to be racing each other, as you would already know, and that's why I clicked the video. So, because you've already heard me explain this part before, I will now just start the race without any further ado. And they're off. Ooh, they're starting at a similar speed right now. Ooh, I think that uh, 52 is pulling away faster. Oh, the BR-52 is pulling away much faster. Wow. This is at 150% by the way, so um, yeah. Yeah, wow, the 7F has a... Not really... Yeah, the BR-52 is moving up surprisingly fast. And here they are approaching the first corner. Is that the 7F catching up? Oh, I think the 7F is catching up. Oh, the 7F has caught up. And it's overtaking the 52. The 7F has overtaken the 52 just before the first corner. Oh, this is awesome. And this is at 150%. Which means they're going at almost full speed, basically. Here they are rounding the first corner with the 7F in the lead. With the BR-52 not too far behind, but I doubt it'll catch up. If the 7F has that much of a lead, I doubt it'll catch up. There it goes. It's putting up a fair fight, but yeah, it's not really made for speed. And again, neither is the 7F. And yet here we are. I am so happy I went with the, uh, the smoke deflectors version. That's fun. Alright, here we are at the end of the uh, first corner. Let's see where the 7F is right now. Ooh, it's almost finished the corner and it's almost up to the squiggly part here. But the BR-52 is not that far behind. That's very cool. And here comes the 7F. Just exiting the first corner. There we are, that's very fast. I wonder how fast that's going. Hmm, and here comes the 52. Oh, it's, it's lagging behind a bit. It's losing... A the distance is getting bigger. On to the second corner, onto the long straight. The 7F is almost halfway through. With the BR-52. Oh dear. It's it's getting further and further away at this point. It's it's so obvious who's won at this point. So very, very obvious. Here comes the 7F. Rounding the second quarter! Look at those wheels turn, wow! Here comes the BR-52 just entering the corner now. There we go, it's not going as fast, the distance is getting bigger. But oh my, that is embarrassing. The 7F is now on the long straight. And I'd say it's about a quarter of the way through by now. Very nice. Nice sounds. Oh dear, and here's the BR-52. 
It's really lagging behind now. Well, it might have been a quick cut for you guys. That was like 5 or 10 seconds. Whereas before, the distance wasn't as great. Here's the 7F. Halfway through the first corner. <sighs> Off it goes. And here comes the BR-52. About halfway through the straight as well. It's putting up a fight, but, well, it's not going to work at this point. That's the sad thing. Oh, you can see the distance from here. The 7F has got a great lead right now. Here's the 7F entering the next corner, the second U-turn. I'm curious how fast that's going. I wish I knew. Oh, here's the BR-52. Looks like it's steaming a lot now. And entering the first U-turn as well. Here's the 7F on the one of the shorter straights. And there's the BR-52 about to exit the corner. Oh, the 7F is entering the next corner to go into the short straight. It's very far ahead. And there it is on the short straight. And here's the BR-52 coming up to the next corner. Onto the short straight. It's really steaming on its side as well. That's not a good sight. But it's trying. It's trying. Oh, the 7F is onto the next long straight. The second last straight. It's flying. That's how fast it's going. While well, the BR-52 is still on the short straight. Here we are at the final corner. It is waiting for the 7F to arrive. Alright, the 7F is in sight and the BR-52 is off in the distance. Whew, boy, it started off close at the beginning, but wow. Things have really changed. Here's the 7F on the final corner. Going for its final turnaround to the win. Here's the 7F on the last stretch of its path. On the last stretch of the race. It's almost done it. It's almost won. And here, lagging way behind, is the BR-52. Oh boy, it's just entering the corner now. How sad. It's not going to get a good lot of points now, is it? Even though I don't go by points. Oh, the 7F is now on the straight. I reckon it's going to start slowing down now for the finish. Well, while the 7F is, 7F is almost finished, the BR-52 could be catching up now. It's finished the corner. It's onto the straight. It's coming. But I think the 7F has done it. Maybe. Just like a certain YouTuber, my rules go by the first engine to stop finishes. To stop and finish the race is victorious. Oh, the BR-52 is lagging way behind. It's not going to catch up in time. And... Oh, almost. And... The 7F is today's winner! Cue the fanfare! Oh dear, here comes the 52. In last place. It had a good start, I admit that. I think anyone would admit that. But wow, the 7F just took over. Jeez, what is that noise? And there we go. The 7F and the BR-52 side by side. So that is the race, and as always, let's do a victory lap reversing with the winner. Off we go, on our way. Here's the 7F on its victory lap. It's the winning engine for today. We'll keep going. 
Alrighty, here comes the 7F. Back to the starting line. Uh oh, -uh, looks like he's going a bit too fast. I don't think he'll stop in time. 7F, watch out! You're gonna crash! No! Now we are back to the tournament screen, and by far the 7F won that. Congratulations, 7F, you're on to the next round. Next time, I'm going to try and make these um, videos weekly, as much as I possibly can now, instead of every three weeks or so we'll get letting you guys wait. That's not very fair to you guys. I must get it out as soon as possible for you guys. You know that. I must do that. So, the next one's going to be Invincible, the small 040 saddle tank engine against a regular 57XX. Not the same as that, the 5400, because that was a pro range version. And that's the old big boy as well, so just letting you guys know, and that is all. Stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. Bye!